This is a review of the Domkey F9 camera bag. I purchased this camera bag specifically for the Fuji X-T1 mirrorless camera system. The bag features a clasp in the front and it's got Velcro here, but I actually took a piece of uh, Velcro and I put it across here so that you don't hear that rip sound. So I added that. The camera bag's got a front pocket here with zippers. And then it's got the, uh, the compartment right here. In the camera bag itself, I've got a Fuji X-T1 with a 90 millimeter lens. Fits perfectly straight in the camera bag like that. And then next to the Fuji camera, I've got uh, one of the smaller rocket blowers. And then inside the pouch of the rocket blower, I've got a 27 millimeter pancake lens. Now the pouch next to the camera, you could fit uh, even a larger lens. Here I've got a 14 millimeter lens and that fits in there nice and easy. Um, the, way, the reason I like this bag is that it's deep. So when you got a camera, with a longer lens. I mean, I could even have a longer lens than this. It fits in there nice, so you can grab it easy. The other nice thing about this bag is that there is no zipper. This just completely flips over like that. You can latch it here at the bottom and flip it up when you need it. Works out real well. Now on the front zipper part, um, I normally don't pack this full. If you pack this full of stuff, then the camera bag is going to be out the size of a bowling ball and it's going to be very uncomfortable to carry. So inside the front pocket here I've got a the small Fuji flash. It's actually inside here. There's the Fuji flash. A little lens cleaning cloth, spare battery. Uh, got a color polarizer. A uh, spare SD card and then a lens cleaning thing in here. Now this front, I should say the top of the flap here also has a zipper so you can store SD cards in there or anything else flat like maybe a, a cloth, lens cloth or even even another uh, color polarizer lens would fit in there nicely. But uh, overall it's a quite a nice bag and it uh, will carry easily a mirrorless camera, a longer lens, and then uh, actually it would carry three lenses if you put, if you got like a small pancake lens you want to stick in the, in the zipper portion, uh, portion, portion here. Um, the only thing that I don't like about the bag is the, the way that the, the straps connect to the bag here. You'll notice that it's sewn on the side here so when the bag rests against you it kind of sticks out a little bit so you've got to set the straps so that the bag goes down past your hip so it's not sticking out. Now I've got a Domkey 5XB that I'll bring in here and I can show you the differences and why I prefer this bag over the 5XB. Okay now here's the uh, Domkey 5XB, F5XB, and you'll notice that it's uh, a bit, not as quite as tall. So normally in this bag, you would lay your camera down lengthwise like this. Like that. So to get it out, you got to open up the zipper or keep the zipper open and pull it out like that because the bag is not as tall as the F9. Now there's an extra pouch there. You can put another lens similar to the F9. Uh, it does not have a zippered front. It's got a kind of a pouch here and uh, that's about it. Now the one thing that I like about this bag uh, as compared to the F9 is you've got the you've got this swivel harness right here so it allows the bag to move uh, in a better position on your hip so it's not sticking out like the F9 does if, if you don't have the strap set correctly. So this is that's the only thing that I like about this bag that's a little bit easier than the F9. Okay and just for demonstration purposes I want to show you the difference in size with the Domkey 5XC. This is the 5XC. You'll notice that it's quite a bit taller than the F9. 
Uh, it's a little bit wider and it's, I think it's, I mean, you could put a mirrorless camera in here, no problem, but it's built more for a DSLR. And again, this has got the zipper on the top, but it's got, it's a quite a bit deeper. So you can have a really, really long lens on here, probably a, a longer lens than the Fuji, than the Fuji lenses that I have now, except if you buy the 100 to 400, that would probably fit. But yeah, this is, this has got a lot more room. It's a lot, it's a lot larger bag. And I was looking for a smaller bag that would be able to carry my gear comfortably. And that's why I went with the, uh, the F9. So there's the side view back view. The back actually has a little pocket back here. You can put paper or whatever back there. And then there again is the front view. And these come in different colors. This one is the sand. They've got black and uh, they've also got olive. So, and now the other thing about this bag too is it's got the uh, nice handle grip on the top. You can pick it up and, and take off with it that way it works out pretty well but no I'm, I'm really happy with this bag again the reason I purchased this bag was because of the small size I wanted a bag small enough that it wouldn't bother me take it out on a short trip but I wanted it to have enough room in there for at least a couple of lenses and uh, a long lens like the 90 millimeter that I have um, I'm sure the Fuji 55 to 200 would work as well along with the uh, the 50 to 230 so um, no, it's a it's a great bag. Domkey makes great bags. They're a, you know it's a heavy, heavy, well-made bag, and I think they look very good. Um, really happy with this. So hopefully this will help you make a decision uh, when you look for a Domkey bag. And this is again this is the Domkey F9. I got this on sale at BH Photo Video. It was $59.99. Uh, some of the other colors. Uh, pricing is closer to 80 85 dollars something like that but uh that was a good price good bag and uh i think it'll i think you'll enjoy it